So I would say like the common thing that you do see in my images is just honesty and intimacy. It doesn't have to deal with who I'm photographing and even if you know that person is a celebrity or regular human being, having that person in front of me and them letting their guards down is what draws me to people. I kind of tend to photograph people in like raw places just so that way it's not about the place, it's just about them and who they show up as. And I let that be the moment, you know? I do have a thing for color. So like post-production could just be me tweaking color, but half the time I'm trying to photograph the image as it is. Down to color, down to like lighting. It's however I see it on set or when I'm shooting. That's the reoccurring thing that you see in my photos is honesty and intimacy. My mom always had a camera with her. It's four of us. We were a pretty big family and she would just always be photographing us wherever we went, family vacation. And I used to just steal her cameras and I would just take them to school and photograph my friends or anything that was around me. And that was like a kind of escape or a language for me. I definitely pay attention to what's around me. I'm always analyzing. It could be color, it could just be a gesture. Just the world that I live in, growing up in the Bronx, spending time in DR, and hopefully I wake up and something new sparks. That's really how I go about it. I kind of just let it happen and just let it live through me. I recently went to DR with an open mind as well. I just photographed for like a week and just let magic happen that way. Shooting in DR kind of just brought me back to being a kid and what little things I was drawn to without realizing it. Down to, you know, my grandmother's bedroom. Like her bedroom reminds me of a lot of the locations I shoot now. Down to the styling, down to the hair. Going back there just made me realize like I do pick up on little things that I bring into my work now. It's just being authentic to yourself and just trusting your gut. And I think that is what leads you to building this world that you build as an artist. You just gotta be real, man. <laughs>